It is finally here after all this time the Die Rise Remastered Beta has actually released. I'm going to show you guys my first playthrough. I don't really have too much of a goal. I just want to see as many new features as I can. Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. Look at this, man. Man, the skybox is incredible. They nailed it. Now, there is going to be some glitches you guys are going to see because this is a beta map. If you guys would like to play the beta map before it releases, I will leave Zella and Dobby's Patreon in the description. You have to pay for the $10 membership and join their Discord server. We got the trample steam parts. One right here. Here's the other parts. So if you guys see some glitches, everything that you see will most likely be fixed. Look at how amazing this looks. You guys are not even going to be able to tell how good it actually looks because YouTube compresses videos pretty heavily. So I highly recommend you go get Xylo and Dobby's Patreon. There's no perk limit in the beta. There's also no jumping jack rounds in the beta, so there's no special rounds. Go ahead and go down. Oh god, this is scary. Alright, build the trample seam. Let's see it. Oh man, it's just like the Black Ops 2 trample seam. It looks exactly the same. Let's see if it works exactly the same. There we go. All right, this is kind of wasting points. So there is going to be a remastered version that is essentially exactly the same as the BO2 version. And there is going to be a reimagined version, which is going to have some new stuff. Right now, there's only one version, just the play test version. Let's go down here. Let's see if you can make the strafe jump still. There we go. We got the upside down room. Let's hit the box. Oh, MSMC. This isn't even in Black Ops 2 Zombies. This is a Black Ops 2 multiplayer gun. Beautiful. What is this? Is this the M16? It is. Okay. All right. Let's actually get out of here. The AN94 wall buy is right here. I'm not going to buy it yet. I want to actually pack much M1911. Let's just open the map up for now. Look how beautiful that sign looks. The way everything glows looks amazing. I love that. I love the nice glow effects that they have. Okay. Let's see if the bank works. Oh, it does. Put a thousand in. Take a thousand out. All right. Oh, let's look for slip of fire parts too. I just forgot. Got one here. Let's hit the power switch. Okay, double tap is here. From what I've heard, they have drastically buffed the elevator key. So the elevator key is actually good now. I know, unbelievable, right? Grab the part here. How much is this door? 1,000? What kind of scam are you running here? I love the MSMC, but I am gonna get rid of it. The slip of fire. Craft slip of fire. There it is. Oh my gosh. Look at this, man. How could you not love this? I used to love to do this. Shoot the zombies and then... <laughs> That's amazing. It's just as good too, it seems. Look at the nice purple effects. Oh my goodness, it looks great. Let's get an elevator up to the roof. Okay, it's coming down. First of all, can I get 100 points? I can. The purple machines, they look great too. Like just the way the lighting comes off and the little like steam effects. When this map fully releases, they're going to add a new Easter egg and I am going to be streaming that on my YouTube. So if you guys want to see me and the boys Easter egg hunt for the new Die Rise Easter egg, that'll be on its way. Bowie knife is still there. I like it. Oh man, the roof too looks amazing. Look at this. Wait a second. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, I'm gonna die. Lex? What's what, what's going on here? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Anyway, let's go back over here. Don't miss the jump. <sighs> that always scares me. I hope in the reimagine this is a door. If this was a door, it would fix like half the map. Oh, look at who's who. Go ahead and open the door and look at it. Get a better look. Who's who has also been buffed. It's still not the greatest perk in the world, it seems, but it has been buffed. So now, let's say you go down on round 20. Instead of getting a M1911, you will spawn back in with like a, I don't know. I, I'm not sure exactly what the gun is. Let's say Galil or whatever, you know? And then as the rounds progress, once you get to like round 30, it might be a ray gun or round 40, it might be a slip of fire. That way you actually have a fair shot of surviving because before you could go down around 400 and then come back up with the M1911 and you're dead. They've really tried to fix that, it seems. So it seems like when you're in the elevator, the zombies have some path issues except for that one. Oh my god that scared me dude so now let's go and take this elevator shaft down look, look. there it was did you guys see phd look at how great this part of the map looks too and this look of fire is goaded obviously let's find this elevator key i'm pretty sure it always spawns here oh there it was so let's kill this guy use the elevator key can we go back in here now Oh, there was... Okay, cool. So we can go back up now. I wonder how you get to PhD. Oh, man. Look at the sign, too. This is amazing. Even the slide looks good down there. So elevator key it's is permanent now. You don't lose it after one use. So let's call the elevator down here. Hold up. Oh, golden elevator key. What is that going to do? I have no clue, genuinely. Oh, I can lock the elevator. That's cool. Oh, I'm dead here. 
No, I'm not. Feel a little safer now, even though we're on round eight. Oh, what was that? Double tap to change perk? Whoa. So I can double tap it with the golden elevator key and change the perk that's in there. That is very cool. I'm actually kind of shocked. That's actually sick. Oh, max ammo. Perfect. Just move out of the way, zombies. Thank you. Oh, it's BO4 max ammo as well. That's perfect. So this is mule kick. I'm going to lock it. Double tap. We get vigor rush. Okay. Double tap. I'm going to lock it. Double tap and we get stamina up. I actually really like that. That's actually a great feature. Let's see if who's who switches. Okay, let's see who's who's turns into banana colada. All right. Zombies seem like they get a little bit lost. There's PhD. I want it so bad. There's got to be something I can do to get PhD. I'm going to take a bit of a risk here and I'm going to try to line this up so I can actually get up there. Please don't die. Oh my god, I almost died. <laughs> Let's use the elevator key. Let's try to go back up, maybe. Repair controls. Okay, maybe it's used a certain amount of time. I don't know, that's interesting. Okay, oh. Oh! Okay, we figured it out. I guess you have to just use it like three times. Look, there it is. PhD. Let's go. So now that means I can jump down there and not die. Oh my God, what, what's happening? No, <laughs> let me back. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I did not expect this. Am I dead? I'm, I'm definitely dead. I wanted to show a couple other features in the map like Pack-A-Punch and a couple new perks and stuff. So I'm just gonna show you guys that now. Let's Pack-A-Punch the M1911. The M1911 becomes the Mustang and Sally's. Oh my God, this camo. I don't even have words. The camos were made by O-Jumpy, I believe. And O-Jumpy makes a lot of camos for custom maps. He makes the hardest camos I've ever witnessed. If you look at this camo and tell me that you don't like it, you're lying. You have, you've got to be lying. You're literally just don't like the map because this, this is just an incredible camo. I just want to get as many points as we can so that way we can actually pack a punch, a couple more weapons. I probably should get perks if I was a smart player, but I am not. A94 becomes the actuated neutralizer 94,000. And look at the camo. More surface area makes it even better. I've got to place this right there and jump across. Oh no, I got to wait now. I just took a fighter over there. That was pretty stupid. Oh my God. What's going on? <laughs> They're falling off the map. Screw it. No. We're going to fall forever again, aren't we? No. All right. Vigor rush. So this makes your bullets explosive. Let's get dead shot. It's only 1500. Might as well. I love the perk icons, by the way. The glue turns into the lamination. And it's got literally one of the best pack punch. This map has maybe the best pack punch camo I've ever seen. And it also has different pack punch camos based on what alternate ammo type your weapon has. So if you have turn, you get a different one. If you have blast furnace, you get a different one. That's very cool. I love that. I love when the maps do that. Uh, that bus depot map that I played also did that. You guys want to see that video? There's a card in the top right. Pack punch it again. Ooh, okay. We're going to get turned. Let's see the turn camo. Like, see? See what I mean? That is so cool. It's just the little details like that that make a map that much better, in my opinion. That different camo, even, that's all it takes. It makes me love the map that much more. I think we can get who's who now. And we're dead already. I have who's who, but I keep getting server. I keep getting errors. Okay. So, as you can see, we're on round 14. We have the MSMC. Let's see if we can revive. Stick it, stick it. There we go. No! 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 Why do I keep getting that? Oh, no, no, stop. We're dead. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. We're super close. We only need like 50 or something. So hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys.